As the global demand for tourism continues to rise, development companies are building larger and larger tourist resorts. So in today's video, we're going to count down the top 15 most enormous luxury hotels and tourist resorts. Let's begin with number 15, the Burj Al Arab Jumeirah. The Burj Al Arab Jumeirah isn't just a hotel, it's a shimmering tale of Dubai's audacious dreams turned into reality. This architectural masterpiece resembling a majestic sail rising from the shores of Dubai tells a story that begins with a visionary ruler's ambition. Back in 1999, when flip phones were still considered high-tech, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum had a wild idea. Why not build a hotel that's not just a hotel, but a soaring beacon of luxury, glamour, and audacity? And so, the Burj Al Arab was born, flaunting its sail-like silhouette that has become synonymous with the area. Now, let's talk size. This isn't your run-of-the-mill hotel. It's a majestic tower of splendor that stands 1,053 feet tall. Rising from its own man-made island like a phoenix from the sea, the Burj Al Arab boasts unparalleled views of the Arabian Gulf and Dubai's futuristic skyline. Those suites? Yeah, they aren't just suites. They're sprawling two-floor palaces fit for royalty. And oh yeah, the restaurants. Imagine dining in an underwater wonderland at Al Mahara, surrounded by a mesmerizing aquarium. It's absolutely insane. But wait, there's more. How about a helipad on the roof on the 28th floor? Yep, there's a helipad. They've held tennis matches and tee-offs up there, proving that at the Burj Al Arab, even the sky isn't the limit. But the hotel isn't just enormous or even luxurious. It's off the charts mind-blowing. Number 14. Atlantis, the Palm all right, since we've already started things off with Dubai, why not pull up a seat and stay for a bit here? Nestled on the shimmering shoreline of Dubai is the Atlantis, the Palm. It's kind of a strange name, but one of the most extravagant hotels the world's ever seen. The history of this now iconic getaway starts back in 2008, when it emerged as a testament to Dubai's imaginative prowess. But the only question is, does the hotel live up to its name? Well, in short, the answer is yes. Situated at the apex of the Palm Jumeirah, one of Dubai's iconic man-made islands shaped like a palm tree, Atlantis stands tall in the middle of the ocean. Its location is a testament to Dubai's ambition to combine architectural innovation with the natural beauty of the Arabian Gulf. But let's dive into its unique features. Picture a water park where the thrills are the name of the game. Aqua Venture Water Park is just that, with heart-pounding slides that plunge you through shark-filled lagoons and river rides that weave through underwater landscapes, it's an adrenaline junkie's paradise. And if you've ever dreamed of walking on the ocean floor, the Lost Chambers Aquarium makes it a reality. It's like strolling through an ancient ruin surrounded by vibrant marine life. All of that is nice, but how big is it? Well, covering 113 acres, Atlantis is more than a hotel. It's a sprawling playground of luxury and leisure. It houses over 1,500 guest rooms and suites that have stunning views of the Arabian Gulf or of the iconic Palm Jumeirah. And for those who want to feel like royalty for a day or those who are actual royalty, the Royal Bridge Suite is the place to be, as it spans the arch between the two towers of the resort. But let's not forget about dining, either, with a dining scene as diverse as the Seven Seas. Atlantis offers plenty of restaurants run by world-renowned celebrity chefs. Number 13. Marina Bay Sands Okay, we can't let Dubai have all the fun. Singapore has been doing everything it can to make itself the country of the future. The Marina Bay Sands, rising from the heart of Singapore, just oozes extravagance on a grand scale. Its story began in 2010, when it was unveiled as a symbol of Singapore's modernity and ambition. It's perched on the edge of Marina Bay. This integrated resort complex seamlessly blends art, innovation, and opulence, becoming an icon of the city skyline. Situated on nearly 40 acres of prime land, Marina Bay Sands is not just a hotel. It can feel like a city unto itself. There are plenty of places for top-notch gaming, shopping, dining, and, of course, straight chilling. Three soaring towers that make up the complex are connected by a spectacular rooftop deck, forming the world-famous Infinity Pool that appears to stretch into the sky. It's sort of as if someone dared to place an urban oasis in the clouds, creating an otherworldly experience for visitors, but just try not to look down because it's real. It's not just about the size. The Sky Park, perched atop the towers, features lush gardens, a mind-boggling observation deck, and that iconic Infinity Pool that's become a must-see Instagram backdrop. 
The Art Science Museum, shaped like a floating lotus flower, showcases innovative exhibits that blend art, science, and technology, adding an intellectual dimension to the resort's lavish offerings. Number 12. The Venetian Resort Hotel Casino the Venetian Resort Hotel Casino is a stellar tribute to the romance and panache of Venice. It stands as an iconic oasis of luxury on the glittering Las Vegas Strip. Its history began in 1999, when it was envisioned as the destination that would transport guests from the desert expanse of Nevada to the mesmerizing canals of Italy. Owned by Las Vegas Sands Corporation, this resort is a great way for Americans to feel like they're in Italy without actually crossing any borders. It's located at 3355 Las Vegas Boulevard South. The Venetian captures the essence of Venice's historic charm and combines it with the vibrant energy of Las Vegas. The resort is part of a larger complex known as the Venetian Resort Las Vegas, which also includes the Palazzo Tower, creating an expansive haven of pure indulgence. And how big is it? Well, the Venetian boasts over 7,000 suites, and if you play your cards right, you might just get comped a night or two here. The resort's centerpiece is its stunning reproduction of the Grand Canal, where guests can take a leisurely gondola ride under painted skies, complete with singing gondoliers. With meticulous attention to detail, the resort's architecture and design mimic the Venetian experience, from cobblestone streets to intricate frescoes that adorn the ceilings. The Venetian is also home to the Grand Canal Shops, an upscale shopping destination with over 160 boutiques, offering everything from designer fashion to artisanal suites. And then when it comes to dining, the resort showcases a diverse array of world-class restaurants, each serving up culinary delights from around the globe. Number 11. The Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong Hong Kong has a lot going for it. Bustling markets, delicious food, art, architecture, and of course, nightlife. And then there's the Ritz-Carlton. The Ritz-Carlton was first established in 2011 and is perched right atop the International Commerce Center, the tallest building in Hong Kong. If you're looking for a one-of-a-kind experience in Hong Kong, this is it. Located in the West Kowloon District, the Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong is owned by Song Hong Kai Properties and managed by the Ritz-Carlton Hotel Company. Its strategic position within the International Commerce Center grants guests amazing panoramic views of the iconic Victoria Harbor and the city's ever-evolving skyline, and boy does it get bright down there at night. The dimensions of this towering masterpiece are impressive to say the least. Standing 1,614 feet tall, it occupies floors 102 to 118 of the ICC. This architectural gem houses 312 elegantly appointed rooms, each having floor-to-ceiling windows that frame the city's landscapes like your own personal art piece. And speaking of art, the hotel has become a canvas for memorable moments. The Ozone Bar, situated on the 118th floor, is the world's highest bar and offers unparalleled settings for sophisticated gatherings. Notably, the hotel hosted the globally renowned chef Alain Ducasse's world renowned restaurant, Alain Ducasse at the Ritz Carlton, Hong Kong, which held three Michelin stars, which is no easy feat. One of the standout features of the Ritz Carlton, Hong Kong, is its opulent spa, which provides serene escape amidst the city's hustle and bustle. The spa offers a range of revitalizing treatments and therapies, all designed to harmonize mind, body, and spirit. The hotel is no stranger to providing exceptional venues for big-time global events. In 2018, it hosted the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which for some reason draws in spectators from far and wide. It's also one of the biggest, most luxurious hotels in the region. It's a gem of wealth situated in an urban setting. It's pretty tough to beat, but that doesn't mean we can't try. Moving on to number 10, the Emirates Palace. You know you're in for a treat when a place has palace in the name. The Emirates Palace stands as yet another regal testament to Abu Dhabi's grandeur, its ambition, and its attempt to thrust itself right into the future. The palace's history traces back to 2005, when it was conceived as a symbol of the United Arab Emirates' opulence. It's situated on a pristine stretch of coastline. This architectural masterpiece spans over 210 acres, embodying Arabian hospitality on a grand scale. Walking down the street, yeah, it's impossible to miss. With a staggering 394 rooms and suites, Emirates Palace stands as a magnificent palace-like haven. The enormity of the property is evident in its impressive dimensions, spanning nearly one mile in length. It catches the eyes and wallets of visitors with its sprawling gardens, ornate fountains, and meticulously designed architecture. While the cost of a stay here can vary, Emirates Palace offers a range of accommodations to cater to diverse preferences, and with that said, even the cheapest rooms still cost a pretty penny. 
from lavish suites that indulge every conceivable and even inconceivable luxury to rooms that provide a more modest but still fancy pants experience. The Emirates Palace does what it can to make everyone feel like a star. Amenities here are nothing short of comprehensive. The hotel has a private beach, lushly landscaped pools, and state-of-the-art fitness center to pump iron and get that private beach bod. This is an all-encompassing retreat that you don't ever need to leave. Culinary aficionados can delight in all the dining options, too, each offering a distinct gastronomic journey, from traditional Emirati dishes to international flavors for those yearning for the flavors of home. As one would expect, Emirates Palace has played host to more illustrious events and famous personalities than you can shake a finger at. The hotel was the venue for the Fast and the Furious 7 premiere, meaning the likes of Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, and The Rock has graced the halls here. Number 9. The MGM Grand Las Vegas Alright, we're back in Vegas. The MGM Grand in Las Vegas stands as a legendary cornerstone of the iconic Las Vegas Strip. Whether folks are coming to Sin City for the first time or are seasoned veterans, they're stopping at the MGM Grand. The place is absolutely crazy. Its history is steeped in ambition, vision, and plenty of money, with construction commencing in 1991. The resort officially opened its doors in 1993, and it became the largest hotel complex in the world. In terms of size, the MGM Grand Las Vegas is vast, to say the least. The resort encompasses 6,852 rooms, making it one of the largest hotels in the world. Its iconic green glass facade rises 30 stories, offering panoramic views of the bustling strip and the surrounding desert landscape. There's also the 17,000 square feet of game room space where guests can test their luck. Owned and operated by MGM Resorts International, the Grand Las Vegas is one of the more recognizable Vegas sites thanks to that signature gold-tinted exterior and roaring lion's entrance. Fun fact, the resort's original entrance consisted of a giant lion head made of fiberglass and a blocky look and appearance, while visitors entering through the lion's mouth. But where is that lion now? Well, the powers behind the hotel couldn't help but noticing that gamblers coming from China found it to be bad luck to walk through the lion's jaws, so they simply kept their hands and their cash in their pockets, so they changed the lion to what we see here today. Other than win, or most likely lose all of your money, what else can you do at the MGM Grand Las Vegas? The easier question is, what can't you do? The resort boasts a myriad of options, from world-class entertainment to fine dining, gaming, and shopping. Guests can gorge themselves at all the great restaurants, but the piece de resistance is the legendary Joel Robichon 3 Michelin starred restaurant. The MGM Grand Las Vegas has also been a favorite destination for filmmakers. For those with a keen eye, they'll recognize all the scenes from movies like Ocean's Eleven and Rain Man that were shot here. The MGM Grand is forever an American pop culture. Number 8. The Plaza Hotel you could say that the Plaza Hotel sits snugly in Manhattan, but you'd be dead wrong. The Plaza Hotel is a standout in the Manhattan skyline, with a history as rich as the city it lives in. It was constructed in 1907. The hotel was designed with sophistication at the forefront. The fact that the hotel is well over 100 years old and still going strong says a lot, especially because so many of the most famous hotels are so young. And yet, over a century later, the Plaza Hotel continues to stand as an iconic symbol of New York City's grandeur. Owned by Katara Hospitality and managed by Fairmont Hotels and Resorts, the hotel has the best prime real estate in the Big Apple, Fifth Avenue, and Central Park South. It's placed at the perfect crossroads of Manhattan's cultural and business hubs, making sure that the money is flowing at all times. But the Plaza Hotel is a landmark, and rightfully so. Just walking into the Plaza Hotel is an immersive experience on its own. It's part hotel, part tourist trap, and part history museum. Guests can partake in afternoon tea here at the Palm Court, where timeless elegance meets contemporary flair. And for those who grew up reading the Eloise books, they'll recognize this place immediately as the titular character's favorite place to stop and sip. The Oak Room and Oak Bar exude the ambience of a bygone era, while the Champagne Bar offers a selection of fine bubbles for those seeking a refined, fizzy indulgence. The Plaza Hotel's storied halls have also set the stage for numerous film and television productions. Notably, it played a central role in the classic film Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, where Kevin McAllister stayed for days, putting it all on his dad's credit card. Even Donald Trump made a cameo. In terms of size, the Plaza Hotel spans 20 stories and features a variety of accommodations from sumptuous suites to elegant rooms, each exuding its own unique charm. Its dimensions place it among New York City's most prominent and storied hotels, an integral part of the city's fabric. 
but make no mistake, you're gonna need a whole lot more than chump change to spend the night here. Moving on to number seven, the Wynn Las Vegas. Charming, sophisticated, modern, these are the words that best describe the Wynn Las Vegas. Construction of the resort started in 2002, and its grand unveiling took place in 2005, ushering in a new era in Las Vegas' evolution. Truly, this wild establishment is the brainchild of the visionary entrepreneur Steve Wynn, an icon who reshaped the city's entertainment landscape, and the city has never been the same. The Wynn Las Vegas set the tone for everything that came after it, which is saying a lot. Operated under the esteemed banner of Wynn Resorts Limited, the Wynn Las Vegas is where it's at. Its prominent position on the iconic Las Vegas Strip, adjacent to its sibling property Encore at Wynn Las Vegas, situates it at the very epicenter of the city's entertainment, gaming, and luxury scene. And the scale of the Wynn Las Vegas is nothing short of incredible, housing over 2,700 impeccably designed rooms and suites. Foodies are invited to embark on a food tour through a maze of world-class restaurants, including the acclaimed SW Steakhouse and the beloved Mizumi. Those drawn to nocturnal allure can indulge in the vibrant energy of Intrigue Nightclub, a bastion of upscale nightlife that lasts until the sun comes up. A golf haven, Wynn Golf Club, designed by renowned Tom Fazio, offers a serene escape amidst the city's bustling energy. There is no shortage of things to do here, and that sort of thing attracts all sorts of visitors. Hollywood's gaze has been captivated by the allure of the Wynn Las Vegas, with the resort lending its striking backdrop to numerous cinematic and televised productions. Notably, the blockbuster film 21, which delves into the realm of high-stakes gambling, captured its scenes within the resort's dynamic ambiance. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, and sometimes Lawrence Fishburne takes you out back to teach you a lesson. But hey, that's Vegas. Number 6. Hotel Adlon Kapinski it may not be a big, flashy, brightly lit building on the water or Sunset Strip, but it is one of the most iconic hotels the world has ever seen. There's an air of elegance here that will just never be replicated. Construction of this regal residence began in 1905, marking its place as a pinnacle of Berlin's hospitality landscape. It's owned by the Kapinski Group, and the hotel has emerged as a cultural beacon that captures the spirits of a bygone era while embracing the modern world. In that regard, it is quite similar to the Plaza Hotel, and when something is able to withstand the test of time, it deserves our undivided attention. Set against the backdrop of Berlin's Brandenburg Gate, the hotel offers an array of things to do and to see. Within its walls, guests can feast on some of the most exceptional restaurants in the world, each representing the diversity of the human palate. The Lorenz Adlon Esemir, for example, has two Michelin stars and elevates dining to an art form, an expensive one but still an art form. Those seeking relaxation can immerse themselves in the lavish spa and just melt away for the rest of their stay. During World War II, Berlin, like many European cities, experienced the ravages of the conflict. The hotel, standing as a symbol of the city's grandeur, was not spared from the impact of the war. In November 1943, a devastating air raid resulted in significant damage to the hotel. The destruction was a stark reminder of the upheaval that conflict brings. And following the war, as the city embarked on the path of recovery and reconstruction, the hotel's story took a remarkable turn. Recognizing the significance of the establishment, efforts were undertaken to restore it to its former glory. In terms of scale, the hotel stands as an architectural marvel. It features over 300 rooms and suites, each exquisitely designed to transport guests to a realm of opulence. It secured its place among Europe's most iconic hotels, celebrated for its cultural and historical significance. Number 5. One and Only Rithi Ra all right, the name says it all. The one and only Rithi Ra is a paradise on Earth, located right at the heart of the Maldives. Unlike hotels in the middle of a bustling city, this resort offers pure R&R in the most tropical of natural settings. Its name evokes a sense of exclusivity and magnificence, and rightfully so. This is the one and only, one and only, after all. The name may not be the most clever, but it tells you exactly what you need to know. This exquisite resort is a masterpiece in the world of hospitality, offering an unparalleled escape from the ordinary and into a world that feels nearly untouched by man. Located in the North Malay Atoll, the one and only Rithi Ra is an experience. It all began in 2005 along the white sandy beaches near clear azure waters and gorgeous palm trees. 
So what's it really like to stay here? Well, as soon as you step foot on the island, you're enveloped in an ambiance that transcends imagination, with a combination of expansive private villas and exclusive residences, each with its own stretch of beach or overwater perch. The resort crafts an oasis of privacy and tranquility, albeit for a rather steep price. But make no mistake, the villas are a whole lot more than just a hotel room. Some of these villas are larger than your average home. In terms of this size, it spans well over 100 acres, embracing the natural splendor of the Maldives. It stands as one of the largest private island resorts in the region, further enhancing its status as a destination that provides a wealth of experiences. The key word here being wealth. The resort offers something a little different. Don't expect to find any gallery-esque lobbies or massive gaming floors with slots galore. The one and only Rithi Ra is about keeping things chill. From basking in its immaculate beaches and indulging in soothing spa treatments to embarking on underwater adventures in the vibrant coral reefs, the resort offers a tapestry of experiences that cater to diverse tastes. And speaking of taste, the food here is killer. The world-class cuisine spans from Asian flavors at Tapasake to Mediterranean-inspired dishes at Fandita, each offering an exquisite blend of taste and ambiance. And when you're staying on the water, you know it's safe to ask for the catch of the day. The one and only Rithi Ra looks like the perfect setting for a James Bond film, too. Well, because it is, it should look familiar to modern Bond fans, as it was the backdrop for Skyfall. And if it's good enough for 007, then it's good enough for the rest of us. Number 4. Bad Roots Palace Hotel Bad Roots Palace Hotel is an esteemed establishment found in the chilly yet loving heart of the Swiss Alps. It stands as a timeless tribute to this region. Located in the enchanting town of St. Moritz in Switzerland, this legendary hotel boasts a storied past that dates back to 1896, when it was conceived by the visionary Bad Roots family. That makes it the oldest hotel we've seen thus far today. The hotel's inception was driven by a daring idea to create a sanctuary that encapsulates the essence of alpine charm while providing an unmatched hospitality experience. The realization of this vision began when Johannes Badrut, a forward-thinking entrepreneur, extended an audacious invitation to his summer visitors, urging them to explore the winter allure of St. Moritz. This bold initiative catalyzed the birth of winter tourism in the region, setting the stage for the Badrut's Palace Hotel's iconic journey. And that journey was paved with gold, because they raked in millions of dollars very quickly. The sprawling expanse of Bad Roads Palace Hotel spans over 387,000 square feet. Its impressive dimensions mirror that rich heritage, providing a diverse range of accommodations that cater to various preferences. From the lavishly appointed suites to the cozy and inviting rooms, the hotel offers an array of experience within its hallowed walls. It occupies a distinguished position within the world of hospitality, celebrated for its fusion of culture, tradition, modernity, and of course, architecture. Simply put, it's a hotel nerd's dream, and it's one of the most esteemed hotels in the world. Staying here is said to be awesome, and checking out is said to be heartbreaking. From an architectural standpoint, the Palace Hotel is a masterpiece that seamlessly blends tradition with innovation. Its exterior facade presents a unique blend of alpine charm and castle-like elegance. The hotel's architectural style is reminiscent of the Belle Epoque period, characterized by ornate flourishes, grand proportions, and a symmetrical layout. The allure of this hotel extends far beyond its physical walls. Get here during the winter months after a nice snowfall and you're in for a real treat. The snow-covered alps and trees serve as the backdrop fit for a postcard, and when the hotel grounds turn on their lights at night, it's all over. Get the cameras out, but also make sure to take it all in without technology standing in the middle. Number 3. La Mamunya La Mamunya is an amazing hotel located in the heart of Marrakesh. Situated in the foothills of the Atlas Mountains, this palace-like hotel has woven a narrative that transcends time. Built in the 1920s, La Mamonia's history dates back to a vision of creating a destination that embodies the splendor of Moroccan heritage. The hotel's name pays tribute to Prince Molay Mamon, the son of Morocco's ruler at the time, who oversaw the property's initial transformation into a grand hotel. Over the years, La Mamonia's allure has been heightened by its storied past, with its walls bearing witness to moments of significance, from royal gatherings to renowned celebrity sojourns. It occupies a sprawling estate of over 20 acres, with lush gardens, serene courtyards, and regal architecture that can make anyone feel like royalty until checkout. It has a total of 209 rooms and suites, each meticulously designed to evoke a sense of opulence and comfort. 
The accommodations pay homage to Moroccan design elements too, infusing traditional aesthetics with modern conveniences. One of the hotel's most notable features is that lovely little spa, a sanctuary of relaxation and rejuvenation. The 17,000 square foot space offers a range of treatments inspired by Moroccan rituals and traditions, immersing guests in a sensory journey that marries modern wellness with ancient practices. Once they step through the doors, it doesn't take long for guests to forget about everything in the outside world. What makes it so special is not just its physical opulence, but its role as a cultural sanctuary. The hotel's architecture showcases harmonious blends of Moroccan and Moorish influences, characterized by intricate mosaics, ornate archways, and richly decorated ceilings. The lush gardens with their fragrant citrus trees and vibrant flora provide a tranquil oasis amidst the bustling city. But this place also has a unique history behind it, and it's built quite the reputation over the years. In a 1935 letter to his wife, Winston Churchill wrote about the hotel, quote, This is a wonderful place, and the hotel is one of the best I've ever used, end quote. One of the bars at the hotel is now named after Churchill, and it was a filming location for Alfred Hitchcock's film The Man Who Knew Too Much with James Stewart and Doris Day in 1956. Mamunya was written by Paul McCartney in 1973 while staying at the hotel. This hotel is so immaculate that they have literally sung songs about its splendor, meaning long after the doors have closed, the memory of the hotel will live on forever. Number 2. Hotel du Cap Eden Rock Originally built as a private mansion in 1869, the Hotel du Cap Eden Rock was thankfully converted into a hotel just 20 years later in 1889. The story of this hotel is as romantic as the land it sits in. First known as the Villa Soleil, the property opened its doors for writers seeking inspiration. Clearly, not much happened during that two-decade stint, but when famous Italian hotelier Antoine Sella bought the property, everything changed. Given more than just a name change, a brand new pavilion was built about 400 yards from the main hotel, and the upper echelon of society began to flock here. Names like F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway played into the hotel's history, staying here to rest, recharge, and of course, party. Adding to the list of famous hard-partying minds, John F. Kennedy spent a summer here with his family in 1938 when he was just 21 years old. And then there's Marlene Dietrich, Orson Welles, Winston Churchill, and Charles de Gaulle, all checked in to the Hotel du Cap Eden Rock. Even Liz Taylor and Richard Burton had their famous affair and honeymoon within these walls. There are 188 rooms across three separate sections of the property, including the Villa Soleil, the Eden Rock Pavilion, and Led du Fontaine. Each accommodation is individually decorated, but all share the classic marble bathrooms. Some other opulent amenities include the heated infinity pool, five tennis courts, a fitness center, a spa, and gastronomy here is a cut above the rest, no pun intended. The Eden Rock restaurant serves up superb Mediterranean specialties on a terrace overlooking the French Riviera. The hotel is also home to its very own chocolatier, which crafts handmade chocolates, specialty bars like a juice and ice cream bar, and a champagne lounge. One little fun fact about the hotel is that for years, the hotel was a cash-only establishment. No credit cards, no checks, no service. So does this mean that guests showed up to the grounds with stacks and stacks of cash stashed in their pockets? Well, not quite. Instead, the hotel asked guests to wire the money over well in advance. The hotel dropped that policy in 2006 and has been swiping those heavy metal Amex black cards all the live long day ever since. The place feels more like heaven on earth than it does a hotel. A very, very expensive slice of heaven. And if these walls could talk, there's no doubt that the Hotel du Cap Eden Rock could go on for hours. Number 1. Jade Mountain Resort Jade Mountain Resort is located on the stunning Caribbean island of St. Lucia. Set within the Anshastane Estate, it occupies prime position overlooking the sparkling waters of the Caribbean Sea and offers a breathtaking view of the iconic Pitons, which are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The resort provides an array of activities for guests to enjoy, all surrounded by the fantasy landscape of St. Lucia. Visitors can embark on snorkeling adventures in the clear waters, scuba dive to explore vibrant coral reefs, or partake in water sports like kayaking and paddleboarding. Guided hikes and nature walks are also available for those who wish to immerse themselves in the tropical landscape of the island. And the resort's serene spa, Kai An Ciel, offers indulgent treatments and wellness experiences. And the best part? No kids allowed. The Jade Mountain Resort is an adults-only paradise, free from the sounds of screaming children. Get out your checkbook, though, because a cost at staying here at Jade Mountain Resort can deal some real damage. Generally, a night rate ranges from approximately $1,100 to $3,900. 
but these rates typically include a daily breakfast, afternoon tea, and dinner, along with various amenities and services, so expect some top-notch, all-inclusive service. The Jade Mountain Resort's history is intertwined with the visionary architect and owner, Nick Trebetsky. Trebetsky's deep appreciation for nature and architecture led him to design and create a resort that seamlessly merges with its surroundings. The resort officially opened its doors in 2006, welcoming guests to an architectural masterpiece that celebrates organic design and breathtaking vistas. The resort's name, Jade Mountain, was inspired by the precious stone and reflects the lush greenery that surrounds the resort, creating this harmonious connection between the landscape and the built environment. The resort's design philosophy is rooted in the idea of creating sanctuaries that blend seamlessly with nature, inviting guests to experience a unique kind of luxury that prioritizes both aesthetics and sustainability. And again, the best part? No kids allowed. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.